Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's kill up some zombies. I think I still have a couple uh play cards left too. That multiplayer reward level four item rewards have been deposited in the supply locker. <laughs> the Tacta Hawk. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, so, how are we? We still have. We're still down a bed, which I don't think I really care about. I like how the materials are just right where they're at. Gas, everything's fine. So the only thing that we have a negative, oh, meds. Meds and ammo. But we can't do a whole lot about that. Hmm. I like it. A field hospital we've really barely used. Um, Honestly, I'm kind of amazed by how much we've already accomplished. Uh, old Tony. Tony's actually hurting a little bit here. <clears throat> Catherine's doing good. That's fine. That's fine. So we do have a driving guy now, Lauren. Mazir still isn't there. Tony doesn't have anything. Plumbing, fishing, electronics. So I wonder which two I wonder which which two we would want. You know, like, I should probably play this Lauren guy a little bit, because I haven't played him yet, so we'll switch over and we'll kind of get him equipped with what he needs. So, first things first, let's get him a nice backpack. Um... Competition M3. And, uh, whoops, nope. I want. Ooh, these are my last bandages, so we definitely need some bandages. Let's get our gun all loaded up. There we go. We definitely want to go ahead and take a, uh, a gas and a toolkit. Now, okay, so I have, I have chemistry, computers, cooking, I'm 
craftsmanship, gardening, mechanic, utilities, and medicine. So I don't think we really have anything except for craftsmanship. So I would maybe want to look up and see, you know, what does the craftsmanship do? What is the entirety of what craftsmanship does? Because we do not currently have somebody that does craftsmanship. So we do state decay two. <clears throat> okay, so we could make metal, we could make melee weapons, apparently. <laughs> well, let's come over here to the field hospital, and we want to make some bandages. Nope. That was not the right thing I wanted to make. There we go. Okay, so we made a bunch of bandages. Um, we don't want to scrap materials for parts. Oh. That's good. Yeah, we definitely have plenty of gas cans now. Auto shop, if we were to create... It's just 70 of those. Let's definitely craft up some tool, some bulk tool kits. We still have three thousand. Okay, we got a bunch of tool kits. We got a bunch of fuel, so that's good. Now we are a little low on some stuff, so I wonder if we shouldn't maybe go out and, you know. Should we go actually start looting some stuff, you know? I'm heading out. I got somebody missing. You up for searching? Yeah, I'm coming. Stay right where you are. Thanks. Always good to clip a screamer for that extra influence. I love how the barrel was like off to the right, but he still shot him. Like he still hit him with the bullet. <laughs> oh, hand drill press. That's cool. We'll loot this up. Scattered survivors are friendly, so that's good. Might as well do some quests with this guy, you know, get some 
get some rep up for him. Oh, duh, I could have easily just came through the, the locker room into this room <laughs> from the side door. Materials. You need to, like, get my, get my mats back up. I don't really need to, actually. So what am I doing right now, Sheriff? So let's go State of Decay to Sheriff Boone. Receive a pile of high-quality loot from old friends once a day. Charity will provide you with deliveries of free loot once, in, once every in-game day before the evening summary. You'll also receive a starter package of items as soon as you start a new community. I wonder what the starter package is, then. Full skis. Oh, well. Yeah, I'd rather hold part parts and seeds. It seems like we find quite a bit and they stack, so you might as well. Might as well try and consolidate. You know. Ooh, we got some gas maybe here. We'll do a fast search since we got guys here. Parts, thank you. A parts, thank you. I got all I can get. And we got a fuel rucksack. Sweet. So we're double rucksacked up. So I'd be curious if like we could take these like fireworks and put the gas in there. Toolkit's five pounds. Everything else is pretty small. Let's take the 45 rounds and put the toolkit back in there. Now she's back at the base, it looks like. Since we're driving right by, we might as well just freaking use one of these. We'll park Honey Badgers and Impale, uh, Impaler off to the side. It's such a badass car. It sounds so nice. We got our got our freaking. Military truck, got our white truck. Do we we don't have a fuel can for that? It's alright. Oh, the white truck's not even in a parking spot. Okay, I was like, there's five parking spaces here. Apparently I'm a truck guy. <laughs> well, this is just like a truck map though, I suppose, really. So we do have See what else we got here. Like that needs a gas can. That guy that has everything. I, the Norma is not really a regular vehicle for me that I'm going to be using that much. These these are my jams right here. Like the Viking, the what the heck was this called? The Viking, the Smash Wagon, the military truck. I like that military truck. It's so nice. And my nice shiny white. 
We should, uh... We should clean up the white truck. <clears throat> so it's looking nicer, you know? It's like our nice, like, weekend truck. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. She's looking nice. It's a nice looking truck. All right, but did I just need to pull out something? I don't, I don't know. I don't really remember. It doesn't matter. We'll use a bandage real quick to heal up. Come over here to the roadside pharmacy. Oh, someone's in there. Someone finally showed up. Huh. I'm gonna let her take those zombies out with her ammo. Hi, Courtney. Oh, she hurt her ankle. Alright, cool. Let's explore this though, just because we're here. Nobody here but us. Is there really not anything to loot here? It's interesting. So we didn't even loot anything, so... <laughs> I, that would probably smash our door off, huh? If we tried to hit a juggernaut with... Oh, yeah. No, good lord. There we go. Let that clear out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that was... I should have tried to remember that that boomer was right there. Bl bloater. Bloater, I think they call it in this game. Boomer's left for dead, I believe. We almost lost you, but you're safe now. I owe you one. There we go. Don't mention it. Let's go up here and start just looting, you know? Like, I wonder, like, did we do all the plague parts? Yeah, we did, huh? Oh, that's a vehicle. Oh, you know what? We need to do the weapons cases. That's meager valley weapons cases is one of the things that we really need to do. For sure we need to do... Here's Meager, excuse me, Meager Valley, full-size image. Okay, well, it looks to me that right up here at, there's like some water. Oh yeah, that does not look good at all. That doesn't look good either. Dude, I feel like we're gonna like just lose our truck if we go down in there, huh? Hmm. 
Oh yeah, there's gonna be a weapons case over here for sure. This guy keeps following, huh? Got him. There we go. Alright. So there's gonna be a weapons case in here. So, oh, there it is. There it is. Borrow style bar. It runs 762. The Browning automatic rifle. Appeared by members of the Notorious Borrow Gang, who famously stole some stole from a National Guard armory. In the spirit of their modified weapons, this tweaked replica features a cut down barrel, higher rate of fire, and crude optics rail. That's pretty cool. So this, I mean, this definitely was somebody's like little map or whatever. Oh, he's on the other side of that. Ugh. I bet you have to follow the river all the way down. Really? I think I thought you had to spin the camera. You definitely do not have to spin the camera. <clears throat> what sucks is like you can go to a place and then you can pretty much completely loot it and then you're full. Which, I mean, hey, it's like real life. Like you can't, you know, if this was actually a zombie apocalypse, you can't just go to like a campsite like this and then expect to just loot everything and carry it all back. Okay, I thought that was maybe gonna be a bloater. Now that's kind of interesting that they looted up so many, or that they spawned in a bunch of zombies right behind me. It's kind of interesting. I think next time that we help somebody, we're gonna take that big badass rifle though. It's gonna be cool. What, what? Okay. Sweet. I'll be right behind you. So we gotta go fight a juggernaut, it sounds like. All right, let's try it out. <clears throat> oh, he is in there with me. Okay, I was like...
I want to go drop everything off though first because we are packed out. Especially if we know we need to mess with a juggernaut. We're better off just grabbing a, some good boom booms. I like how he's holding the door open, but he's on the wrong side of where the... It must just be if it detects a zombie close by. You know, like it must not be that smart that it can just detect it on the right side. I mean, I guess that would be a completely different, you know, thing to program in. Okay. Hiking pack. Yep, yep. Well, let's get rid of a couple of those. Fireworks will be good. 762 is good. Store that. Store all that stuff. Oh, I should be transferring all this to the base. Hitting the wrong buttons. I'll take the tube of fireworks. You can store that there, bring it back out here. We've got a band-aid, we've got that stuff. We should be fine. <clears throat> We're just gonna have to dump bullets on that juggernaut's face. It's kinda crazy, like considering like like, how could a corpse be animated and just stay animated for that long? Fight training isn't just about learning to kill. It can relieve stress, settle conflicts, and keep people healthy. If your community doesn't have a place to train, the Zeds may be the least you are. See a couple zombies over there. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, like if we go all the way around the back. Here we are. Now we start looking. You know, like. Like, can we get this done without fighting a juggernaut? Probably not, but it'd be kind of cool. We could use this. Oh, hell yeah! Wait, what? Oh, what what crossword did I find? Just an echo one. Thank you. You have no idea. Okay. Uh oh. Looks like we snuck in there pretty good without having to worry about a, uh, a juggernaut, huh? Oh, if you do this place, you can get some artillery strikes. Ha! <laughs> it climbed over the fence to try to get me. How dumb. That was a good one. Just step on it. Hold it still. And then slice and dice. These are adrenaline pills and Zedi. Pretty good. So I wonder if we should go ahead and shoot over here to the river, because again, there's there is still another weapons case, kind of where we just were. Do I have a light out? Doesn't seem like those headlights are working as intended.
Okay, so I think we need to come back this way. And we need to get down to the river, huh? What is moving? Zombies. Part of me wonders if you're maybe not supposed to go down here. I don't give a shit. Let's go. Screamer's got a big mouth. We got a big gun, biatch. They did a really good job on this, like having the water come down like this. I'm kind of feeling like we're not really supposed to maybe go up here. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of working. Maybe you're not supposed to go up there, huh? Oh, good lord. I think we have to use the the old unstuck here. You know, at times like this, the future isn't as scary as it used to be. I think we got <clears throat> got to use the old stuck. Well, we should fuel up real quick. I think we do have a gas can. Okay. No, wrong place. Wrong place. And we, we actually can get pulled out the other side now. It looks like they pulled out a door that was, uh, yeah, they pulled out the passenger front door. <laughs> so we want to go ahead and get this a repair.
This guy sent me an article that I need to read. So now that it's daytime, let's see if we can figure out how to get up, get past all this. Good. That's not none of this is good right now at all. Let's just get back for right now and let's get get back and heal up a little bit. He stops pretty quick. Oh, the old triple hit. Triple hit finished him off. That's pretty interesting. Let's take the toolkit out. Clean this thing up a little bit. Okay, so we got some bandages and this, and then we got uh, we'll equip him with that. We're gonna switch over and play. We wanna teach Tony something. Huh. He is a hero. So we have some citizens over here. So let's take these citizens to go get some more freaking weapons cases. So like we know we have one is going to be power substation. We have one at this abandoned post it looks like. Yeah. <clears throat> we have one at the abandoned post. Um, so what should we do for... A weapon. Yeah, I don't know if I like the precision. I wouldn't put a sight like that on a on a Glock. On a Glock. Let's use the big Hank rifle. Let's equip that. Although we are pretty damn low on... On those. Oh, he also doesn't have a good backpack. So let's get a good backpack on him. Let's 
So, what should we get now? What are we doing? We're just going to get a weapons case, so. Let's take the muscle truck. Let's do it. Oh, I don't have any gas either, so I need to remember that. Dead Zed. <clears throat> Big old juggy. I'm excited. Today we're doing a barbecue fest. So we're going to have a bunch of like barbecue and like stuffed jalapenos. And just, uh, like I think one guy's making like some Brussels sprouts. There's going to be mac and cheese. kind of wonder if we aren't going to have the weapons case be up like up on that roof I do like that with the big old shovel there, that he's actually hitting some other ones. You know, he's hitting some other zombies with that. So let's check up in the little crow's nest real quick. Yep, that's where it is. Can they climb ladders, I wonder? <laughs> Replica bastard sword. I mean, I guess I could take it just to have it, but not really need it at all. So. Where's our visitor at? Oh, he's over there. Okay, that's fine. We'll go back. So we just got that rare weapon crate case. The next one is going to be like... Right here. <clears throat> Zed Buster. Boom, boom. Did I? I already went past it. Eh, I doubt we'll miss him. And we don't have to ride on the roads either. We can just easily go over the terrain to get back to the base. So we'll just do that. We're in a freaking truck. It's got a sweet old big blower on top. Okay, so in Willow Grove somewhere. Oh. It kinda looks to me like it's already been opened, the weapons case.
Yeah, the weapons case already open. That's interesting. Okay, then. I mean, do we see another one anywhere else? Weird. Let's go back to the base. Well, Zed Buster's running out of fuel anyways. I do like how much this truck drifts. Like, I really appreciate the handling of it. <gasps> Excuse me. Now, we haven't even checked out the brewery yet. I kind of want to check out the brewery. Although, I don't think... I'm kind of thinking that I won't be switching to another camp on this map. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to finish it so I can have the survivor, you know, uh, the legacy boon, you know. So we have a guy in here, huh? Did I put anything in here? I didn't even put anything in there. Well, let's, let's just deposit all that. We'll keep playing this character. Hughes, huh? How's it going? You bet. Scent block, huh? <laughs> Good call. Oh, I don't have... I don't think I have a good weapon for dismantling zombie arms. And we need fuel anyways. Damn it, I shouldn't have taken the damn plague. Okay, so if we wanted to chop up zombie arms, we could use a parang and a machete and a carpenter's hatchet. Echo 2 Mamba, get rid of the hatchet. Also, we need fuel. We'll take double fuel. No, not ride. Get out. There you go, refuel it. Yeah, let's do it. Old truck almost doesn't want to start very well, huh? Don't care. Oh, my God. 
Is this does this attract zombies? Is that what's happening there? This shit is heavy. Can't take another rucksack. Uh oh. I just need to talk to her. My bad. I wish there was a bigger way I could show my gratitude, but this reward will have to do. Don't be stranger. <laughs> What reward? Did she give me a reward? I don't think she gave me a reward. <laughs> is what it is, I suppose. Alright, let's get back home. I want to run over those hay, ba hay bales. We know they're going to be freaking heavy. This is a neat map, that's for sure. It is, it is really pretty easy to, to just drive around and get through the, the countryside. There we go. I was going to say, if he doesn't trip and fall on his own, he's getting shot for sure. Otherwise, I'm, my dumbass will run him over real soon on accident. the police department. <clears throat> Just crossbow bolts. I like how it's minusing one ammo. But yeah, I don't think in the ammo things we really ever find <clears throat> um, crossbow bolts. See you, dumbass.
Oh, yeah, right. Get out of here. Oh, I was trying to get him in the air. was pretty cool. All right, um we're still good on the whole whatever thing, so we can keep going with this guy. Let's let's go ahead and use a bandage. Let's get him Let's get him that 556. Five, let's give him that GSGW. Let's make sure it's nice and repaired. Oh my god. I thought I was hitting repair and I hit salvage. I just sal I just salvaged my favorite What an asshole. I just salvaged my favorite uh gun pretty much. Oh, that's annoying. So I need to get another GSGW, whatever. All right. Um What do we need? 762 rounds. Okay, we got that. Let's make sure we got a gas can and a toolkit. I mean, we could go to the. That'll get rebuilt, that window. Could go in here and then we could just. Uh, special treatment options, infection therapy. No, medical help, infection therapy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I hear some guys out here. Oh, they're both just crawlers. Let's run the Viking. So... Okay, so we have one like right in this corner right here. Which is interesting because it looks like, it appears that we've already looted it too. I'm hitting a lot of stuff here. Old school owns. Should be able to drive right through here and get up the other side. Oh, not bad. Not bad. We're getting somewhere. Welcome. Hell yeah, that makes sense. I was like, oh, that's kind of sad. 
What is that, a little dog? A little doggy died too. Oh, a bunch of dog. Oh my god. Cats, dogs. A G18 Auto Custom. Oh god, this is going to be stupid, isn't it? Really? Oh, it does have a drum on it. Okay. Oh, we could we could throw a repair down. <clears throat> we have enough of everything, so it should rebend that pipe up front, like right above the front windshield. She's looking good, baby. So apparently out in the middle of nowhere, there's two of them out in the lake. So that's what we're going to go for. Ah, out on that island. Oh my fuck, dude. What are you doing? I could not keep this up. You see me, little zombie dum dum? Yep, there's the other one right up there. Two of them out on the island. Nice. Uh, nice. The island doesn't mean shit if the zombies can just walk right through it. A groundbreaker shovel. That's pretty heavy. What the fuck is a groundbreaker shovel? Oh, okay, I guess it's like a...
Let's go ahead. Wait. Take the box mine. That was the last one. I'm so damn tired. That was awesome. Camera's having a hard time with me being on the edge there. Oh, that's great. We almost got in trouble there. <clears throat> almost. Okay, I see you. You were quick, huh? Gotcha, bitch. Molotov, that could be nice. We'll just go ahead and use that, I guess. We don't have any parts gathered up yet. Let's eat a eat a bag of snacks. Eat a bag of dicks. <clears throat> Drop the snacks. Parts for sure. Parts for sure. Molotovs, man. I like Molotovs. Oh, we definitely need those 50 AP rounds. I don't really want to get rid of any of this stuff. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put both of those in there. Yeah, that'll be that'll all be good. Let's go back to the base. Go back to the BZ. Now it is saying that right he oh, so at Whitney Field there's a uh I haven't even checked out Whitney Field yet. I mean actually like driven around in it or anything. I can't believe that infestation that's in the uh, that's in the trailer park. You can't even get into it. Stupid. <clears throat> I think 
gets a feral. Domed him. Go to sleep. We need a bigger place to live. We do? Oh, he's probably just saying it because we don't have enough beds. I don't even recall seeing that mission as being one that we could have, so suck it. Actually, I got a bunch of stuff in my truck here to get rid of. Okay. Okay. So, dude's probably gonna get tired soon, but still, like, it's, it's not a big deal, I don't think. <clears throat> we don't really care that much about the wonders. I don't know. Should we? Should we go see what he has? Where's he at? He's not far away. What we could take is we could take some luxury items. Small backpacks we're getting rid of. I do kind of let infestations get a little out of control. <gasps> Excuse me. Can't believe I burped on stream. <clears throat> what is that saying now? If you are... You are a victim of harassment for any reason. Dial 911. Get to a safe spot and wait for police. Support safe spot. No cigarettes. No cigarettes. Lock it. Free child safe gun locks provided here. That's pretty cool. Evidence filing, witness reporting, detective interviews, and court officials. Please proceed to case file area after check-in. Some pretty good like little detail there. <clears throat> I don't have a stand mixer or a soil enrichment kit. I also don't have a garden tool kit. Compost bin. Oh, what's up, dude? I like. I li I'd like to go see the other, um, Gotta be quiet. <clears throat> I'd like to go see the other home sites. Not that I think that we're probably going to end up moving, but let's do that. Let's go State of Decay 2 home sites. <clears throat> 
So Cascade Hills is not where we are. We're not in Drucker County anymore. We're in Meager Valley. So the only two left really to check out are Squalones and Whitney Field. So where is Squalones at? <clears throat> okay, so Squalones and then way down here is is the Whitney Field. Let's just go check them out just for shits and gigs. We still got plenty of fuel. <clears throat> I didn't realize I was driving past Squalone's Brewing, whatever, this whole time. I I do like the police station, though. I really like the idea of it. It makes sense. It's, you know, it's, like, very defensible. I do like it a lot. So, like, let's look at Squalone's. It says it's got a built-in water tank. So, see, like, that doesn't even, like, none of that stuff even matters to me. Alright, what do we have here? You're going along, you're going along. Flowering flats, you come over here. Looks like you're right by the f... Fi oh, okay. Okay, I do like that. Just has the two parking spots, though? Three parking spots. <clears throat> yeah. If you clear this area, it'd make for some prime real estate. He's tired now. What's this? Two, three. We have three small spaces. All right, all right there. Something doesn't feel right. And uh, a large and a small. It only has one large slot? Yeah, I don't think so. I think the cop shop is better. Better for me. And, like, I don't... If I liked beer, like, maybe that would make, like, more sense. If I was, like, a big beer guy, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense.
Oh, what's up, man? Uh, just went to the bathroom. I wanted to check out... I started doing some uh, rare gun cases. How was your zombie plane yesterday? Oh, what? Oh, I thought it crashed it for a second. Damn it. <gasps> Streamlabs. State of decay. There we go. I was just kind of, I just wanted to check out, um, There we go. You haven't found a single one. Did find a really cool gun. You need ammo for it. What? Uh, sorry. You said you haven't found a single one. Oh, the rare weapons cases. I mean, I could show... Okay, you're not going to find the rare weapons cases. Probably. Like, as much as I've played this game, I have actually ran across a weapons case in just the way that I normally play, like maybe once. But yet I've actually collected probably over a dozen of them because I just pull up maps and I go find them. Because they're like in just like weird, obscure places. So it's like, do you really want to... And, and honestly, when you find them, dude, they're not that amazing. Hey people, it's again. So... What? Oh my god, dodge doesn't work again. Why does dodge not want to fucking work sometimes? Oh, see, now it just worked right there. Now it just worked like five times in a row. I think it gets confused somehow. Get out of there. Oh... Uh. Well, they do, like, um, well, there's a mysterious wandering trader. We got to go maybe see what he's got going on, too. Um, whenever the mysterious wandering trader comes up, I suggest getting anything and everything extra that you have to sell so you can go sell them a bunch of stuff and buy a few things, like, offset the cost of, like, the stuff that you're probably going to buy. Um... If you just want bladed or blunt rare weapons, they do. I just got this really badass shovel today. Um, this this was in a, it was the groundbreaker shovel. Shit. Okay, I can't drive and run away from zombies and drive at the same time as looking at the inventory. But I got a really nice nice shovel today. There's also like the um, like the little wakazashi that I got. There's the. Uh, uh, the replica blade, there's like an Echo C1 stiletto or some shit that they call it. I forget. Oh, I actually kind of already do have some stuff to... Let's take my gas can. I'll fill this up. Did find this BML that you found from a play cart. A BML. BML. Blade, bladed... Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay, what do we want to sell here? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, I'm going to sell those four luxury items. Oh, and this is, you can see like my gold, it's like a gold-plated shovel, kind of. It's pretty cool. It says Weston on it. Gold shovel. Um, what was I just wanting to do? Oh, yeah, I wanted to sell like as many of these as I could for influence, but then also I wanted to get... 
Dude, I'm I'm stacking up on mods, dude. I am getting a lot of mods. Okay. Um, but see, like, here's the Echo Echo 2 Mamba. I call that Echo 1 Stiletto. So Echo 2 Mamba, that's it looks like kind of like an old scimitar. Replica Bastard Sword. I got those. Um, the Tactahawk. The Tactahawk is like a pretty cool, like, bladed hatchet. Um, again, I always like to use the... Um, there's an Echo C3 Karambit, but that's that's for your close combat weapon, like the one that you finish enemies with. Like if you don't have a melee weapon equipped, you just use a close combat weapon. That's what that is. So I I actually need to stop carrying melee weapons now that I think about it. I, I personally like to put a K-bar on everybody. So I want everybody to have a K-bar. I'm actually going to put this shovel away because it's 11 freaking pounds. So I don't, I don't like having a melee weapon. And if... I just realized that though. Like, I never use my melee weapons, but I always have them equipped. Like, I don't... I'm so stupid, you know? So... Oh, BML's a grenade launcher. Three three juggernauts with it at the same... What are you telling me at the same time? You mean you killed three juggernauts with one grenade? I've never even seen two juggernauts together. How'd you get three of them together? That's crazy. The splitting mall is actually just kind of neat, but I don't think it's a rare one. So, but yeah, the groundbreaker shovel, that's a rare one. See, I still have a couple K-bars for my characters, but... Wait, do I have... I am... I don't think I have anything else I wanted to sell. Dude, I accidentally salvaged my favorite gun, which was called the... It's called the GSGW. I accidentally salvaged my favorite gun. I thought I was repairing it because my repair and my scrap buttons are right next to each other. So I accidentally scrapped my favorite gun. So if you see a GSGW, which I've, <clears throat> I've only seen one, I would love to replace that gun. Uh, there look. Because they look cool. There's this mission next to your base. It spawned a screamer and a juggernaut. Well, you said three juggernauts. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I shouldn't have responded. You were still typing. I gotcha. Dude, that is... That's cool. That's really cool. I've never had that. That would be a fun fight. That's cool. I'm like, I've never even seen two juggernauts. But yeah, I, I kind of want to run around and do some rare weapons cases. Once it's daylight again, I'm going to go check out the baseball field. But um, baseball field and that brewing company, some people say are like the, the, the best ones on this map. I, I, didn't, I didn't like them. I mean, I already knew I wouldn't want the baseball field. But I got to get these guys off of my damn truck. Just take my doors off. Um... But I really liked the police station on this map, so police station was my favorite one on this map. He doesn't appear to be in here. Okay. If you press like one, two, three, four, that'll put you in the different seats on your on your vehicle. There we go. I had to rip those guys off my truck. Uh, you were scared. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, dude, no, it it is like scary. Like on certain like when certain things happen, like if you don't have a buddy with you, like when my brother's with me, like I know we're gonna take stuff out. You know, because I have a buddy. And uh, my brother is also generally a good gamer. Like, in pretty much anything that he does, he does a good job. Damn! Fucking dodge, you cocksucker! Oh, it looks like we found him. I wonder if he'll kill these things. We got three hours. I'm gonna let him kill that one last zombie. He's got a nice gun. He's got a... Suppressed MP5. You looking to trade? Yeah. Oh, a BML. That's the gun that you just talked about, right? So every single one of these that's ammo is 30 influence. So 
We don't need any more of that. Firearms training manual, mental, I already have that. I don't care about those. A brass collector, I already have. A case of stabilizing foam. Okay, mono gear axe. That's that's a, a rare weapon right there. Um, the groundbreaker shovel. There you go. That's the one that I just got today. Um, so the I actually have both of these sniper rifles already, and I have this golden vulture, but I don't have a BML forty. So I'm gonna buy the BML forty. But I really want his I really want his suppressed MP5 that he has there too. Oh well. Fuck it. Yeah, okay, so it's, you moved your base because, because of the people who kept spawning? So you just didn't... Oh, shit. That's weird, like... I had the same thing with that church, dude. It just kept being annoying, you know? Which, do you... Do you know which map you're on? I kind of think you're a Drucker County. But I don't remember a fire station. I don't know if I ever looked for a fire station either, though. Oh, I need to go like, straight north. Dude, I'm like, where the fuck am I driving? I'm driving in such a weird spot. I'm trying to get like out in the open stuff, you know? There we go. There's some of the open fields. We got a base. Oh, I got stuck. There we go. Push out of it. There we go. Um, you don't know what map it is. If you press M, it'll tell you in the bottom left-hand corner. You can't see it because where my face is on the stream. But if you just press M, it'll tell you in the bottom left-hand corner. So you had the biker bar. And then you said you moved you moved from that. So you went to the biker bar, like, pretty quick. You're on green difficulty, and you said that you didn't like the people that were spawning by the biker bar. See, I don't know that they had the difficulty set up the way that they do now, back when I played before. I'm pretty, I'm almost positive they don't have them like that, that they were different at that point, like, like some updates and like DLCs came out, you know, so I think they changed it, but I'm just thinking like, I wonder if I wasn't seeing like the exact same stuff on my base with the church because like, I just hated the church because of like the, how the spawns worked and how often I was getting attacked by the zombies. I was just tired of the shit. But I don't recall ever beating it when I played it like a year ago. I don't think... I might have got all the plague hearts or something, but... I know I definitely didn't fuck with the legacy boons and starting like a different... I only played on the one map. I only remember my only base as being the church, actually. <gasps> I completely forgot to sell this shit. What a dumbass. Okay, well, let's... Let's just go get more ammo anyways. Because we, we this guy's tired, so we need to get rid of him. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's store that. And, cool, fine. Um, now we want... So he's still a citizen, she's a citizen, let's take control of her. You're in the middle of nowhere, they kept spawning. I, I think... Oh my god, look, dude, she's in the shitter, and she can't even get out. How funny is that? Let me do this. Stuck. <sighs> okay. Okay, I do have some 40 millimeter grenades. Yeah, she was going to be stuck in the shitter forever. So, 
Holy shit. Um, state of Decay 2. Biker Bar. Wally's Bar and Grill. Okay, so there's only one. Apparently, it's Wally's Bar and Grill. Uh, excuse me. And Wally's Bar and Grill is on Drucker County. So you're on the same map that I was. And now you said that you're in a uh, in a firehouse? So you might be in the wheelhouse truck stop? You're in a fire station and you didn't change you didn't change maps. Prescott Fire Station. That's in Providence Ridge. The fuck? Fighting gym, firehouse kitchen, utility room. What the fuck? But you were at... Weren't you at Wally's Biker Bar? It says... Did you make another... Did you make another community or something? Because Prescott Fire Station is on Providence Ridge. But Wally's... Wally's Bar and Grill is in Drucker County. They're in two different maps. I need to leave in like 40 minutes because I'm going to go do barbecue fest. Let me see if I can get... Where's my MP5 at? Did I get rid of the MP5s? Oh, it's a diner. It's not... It's So it's not Wally's Bar and Grill. I thought I had like motorcycles and stuff. No? Amendments? I never expected it'd be the second that saved my ass. Yeah, barbecue fest, dude. Yeah, we're just a bunch of dudes barbecuing, smoking. Like, I'm, I'm gonna make. I'm actually not even making any meat today. Well, I guess technically I am. I got sausage and bacon, but I'm doing like these uh, stuffed jalapenos. Take these jalapenos, I carve them out, like cut them in like banana boat, like length, banana wise. I mean, cut, carve all the seeds out. Put some Tony Satchery's like seasoning in there. Nice to put sausage on top. Then I put like a little chunk of cheddar cheese, like sharp cheddar cheese on top of that. Um, wrap it in bacon. And then uh, put some like breadcrumbs on it and I, and I bake them, dude. And they're like the best little like jalapeno things ever. I, I got that PPSH today, too. Remember he had, like, some crazy-ass gun? Oh, you might not have been watching, but he had this crazy fucking gun uh, called a PPSH. And it's a, it's a... Yeah, there you go. Soviet PPSH. So if you equip this gun, it's like... Yeah, it looks like a big, stupid Tommy gun, but, like, look at this. 
<laughs> it's like a ridiculous gun. And it shoots 9mm rounds. That's actually pretty good. He basically just deleted the play cart. Yeah, dude, for sure. He just like, blop. Let's see. Where did my MP5s go? Did I really get rid of them? Or are they like equipped on characters? I bet you that's what's going on. Okay. Okay, Catherine, what do you got? Catherine's got that, okay. Sean, we just had him. He doesn't have it. Lauren probably doesn't have it. Yeah, Lauren's got a crossbow. Mazir probably won't have it. Tony shouldn't have it. Tony doesn't even have a ranged weapon at all, actually. But he does have my ultralight axe. That's my favorite melee weapon, dude. That ultralight axe is sick. Okay, let's put a... Put a crossbow. Wait, where's my crossbows at? There we go. Echo X2 sniper. Okay, so he's got a couple hunting crossbows. There we go. We'll equip that. So that's Tony. So here's Malachi. What does Malachi have for a weapon? Crossbow. What does Richie have for a weapon? Crossbow. What is. Oh, I haven't played Lisa in a while. I bet she's gonna have. No? Dude, my MP5s are just straight gone. The fuck? That's dumb. She needs a K-Bar. Let's go in and get her a K-Bar. Here's the melee weapons. Go all the way down to the bottom. K-Bar. Equip it. Oh, she already had a K-Bar? No, she had a rusty screwdriver. Oh. Yeah. No, I don't I don't have any cars either. I had, I had two MP5s. I wonder if, like, that was, like, the last map. And I'm just confusing it? Kind of confused. AR is okay, but that GSGW, I'm so mad that I got rid of it that I freaking salvaged it. What an asshole. Big boy. So mad that I got rid of that gun. All right, well, let's... You can just use that for right now, but like we want to get rid of more 22 rounds. Yeah, we have gotten rid of... Because I barely use 22 rounds. And so I might as well turn it into influence. <clears throat> and then... Whenever, wait, what? The only cure? Oh, he wants plague cure. Giving his group some plague cure. Let's go over here. We'll put this back away and we'll get plague cure. I don't know, what if he wants freaking three of them? I don't know how many he's gonna want. So we'll take four of them. Yeah, I accidentally salvaged my, my favorite weapon, dude. No b bueno. That's the Wandering Trader. Oh my god, these assholes are way over there. Seriously? I better make sure I have a gas can. I do not currently have a gas can. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I'm going to move on this map again. I think I'm just going to finish it. And then my next community, I want to start on a different map that I haven't used yet. No oh, that. my fuck. Come on. I want to start on a different map that I haven't played yet. I'm kind of just wanting to, like, check out, like, all, like, the needed spaces. I really like the barricaded strip mall. That was really cool. I like, I almost wonder if I don't like the police station even more. But, 
I know that playing as a sheriff as my leader, having like the big badass hospital on normal, it's just really not necessary. I don't think it'd be no I don't think it'd be necessary on green either. Like if you aren't dog shit at the game, you're not really getting injured that much, and you have enough people that you can just keep swapping them out, and they'll get healed while you're playing other people. So, I kind of don't think that you need a big badass, um, like, field hospital. But when I played as the builder, and I could have the big badass watchtower, that was pretty cool. I really liked having that big badass watchtower. I don't know what the other two, like build or like sp like specialty whatever buildings are like the leader buildings i should look that up like let's see state of decay to let's just give him a little s give him a little squish there Leader facilities. Leader types. There we go. Okay, so a builder can make the sniper tower, a luxury barracks, and a generator three. Which, we really don't care about the generator. The sheriff can make the field hospital, a lounge three, and a shooting range two. And I don't like shooting ranges because I don't want to draw attention to my base. Like, that's in my mind. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's stupid. Uh, he, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, there's no reason that you can't kill it with melee and do exactly what you're doing. It's obviously how you want to play. You know, I just never liked to do it because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to take the damage. You know, but also I lean towards being ranged. I don't usually use any explosives, but I'll use explosives for sure on a plague heart. So. I'm happy that you want to play a different way than I do, and the game will let you do that. Like, I remember... Oh, that's Whitney Field right there. Should we go... Should we go look at Whitney Field real quick? So you have, like, your... Three parking spots there, maybe? You have a, this big-ass... Big-ass parking space. Soccer field. Oh, there's a weapons case. See, I just happened to see that that light right there. So we're <clears throat> we're gonna actually come back later to Whitney Field so we can get that weapons case. And then we're gonna check out Whitney Field. Actually, I actually want to check it out during the day because it's so dark. You can't hardly see shit. Can't see shit. What's up, girl? Hey, oh, it's a dude. You know My bad. All right, let's see here. What does he have? He has something green on his back. Oh, it's his backpack. Okay. Give him a dose of plague cure. Hasta la vista. Orale. Oh, it's Fight Club. Um, shooting range. Tower. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's your play style that you like to play. And it would f be unfortunate like if you couldn't do it oh the example i was going to use was mass effect like like mass effect is i wanted to snipe and the game even tells you like you can snipe mass effect one it's like yeah you can snipe and then when i actually tried to play the game as a sniper it was very frustrating and did not work very well at all and so I was like, well, then why even give me the option if you're not going to, like, flesh it out and make it, like, viable? I even remember I I somehow cheated and got, like, the best weapons, like, super early on. I don't know if I used a glitch or if I used a cheat code. But I did something that I could buy, like, these, like, super badass weapons early on. And even with the super badass weapons... 
it still like was not a very good experience and have I didn't have fun with being a sniper so really you need to be like a soldier type where you're just gonna have like an assault rifle type deal you know machine gun you know that kind of deal which is why I never finished Mass Effect I do I do want to beat it someday but so here's the mysterious trader. So we've already got like the stuff that we wanted to buy anyways. But we can at least just sell a bunch of stuff, you know. I'll take the stabilizing foam. I'll take the mono gear axe because I don't have one. So here, I'll show you the mono gear axe. It's a one-handed axe. See, it's like a circle. It's like a gear. It's definitely very neat looking. <clears throat> Alright, well, that was actually all the ammo I was really wanting to get rid of anyways, so that kind of worked out perfect. Now, what have we got today? So let's just sell the rest of the luxury stuff. I'll sell this. I'm going to bring that mono gear axe back with me. So... All right, that works. Uh, let's see here. Infiltrator was harder to play. You chose it until wait until I discovered Adapt. Oh, you're talking about Mass Effect. Yeah, I th I need to go back and play it someday. I was really enjoying it. It's such a big game, you know. So I was definitely like excited about it and enjoy it and wanted to enjoy it and everything. And I have Mass Effect, I think, 2 and Mass Effect 3. I don't have Andromeda. But I'm like, man, like I, this is a series that I really need to like get into and play and beat. And um, I'm just not... Wasn't like really into it, you know? So it kind of sucked. It's so funny. I was driving like right next to the brewery all these times that I drove up there. I don't like the brewery that much, and I don't. I know I'm probably not gonna like Whitney Field that much. So I do think that I grabbed the right base here, with being at the po police station. Just skip the first game? Is that what you're telling me? I'll just read up on it? Like, just... Okay. Transfer to base, transfer to base, transfer to base. Oh. Okay. So now, do I have... Multiple of the foam? No, I don't. So see, look at... These are all the mods in the game. Like, I'm just trying to collect, like, one of each. That way, wherever I, you know, whatever I go to, I have, you know, I got stuff.
Okay. Uh, procedurally generated planets. Oh, hold on. A lot of micromanagement. The planet hopping didn't reward as much. If you like off-world, off-worlding, Mass Effect One has a lot of it. Procedurally generated planets with just random maps is better than not drama. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I know. I oh look, I do have two double jug of pesticide here. Interesting. So we don't really care about the mysterious wandering trader anymore. This survivor is in trouble, and where is he? Just way down there. Hey, uh, I'm fine with it. The Zeds are about to hit us. Fucking really? <sighs> I almost want to like set the difficulty at my house back down to green, like at my base. And then just turn up some of the other stuff, you know? Because, like, I don't mind if, like, certain parts, like... Would you fucking climb the ladder? that dumb bitch she just jumps off when there's a ladder right there it's like fucking idiot let's take the white let's take the uh, military truck I haven't driven this in a little bit I don't know I also need to get through the witcher that's like another one that I really wanted to do was like the witcher one two three Are you playing right now, or what are you doing? I'm getting ready to be done here in about 15 minutes. Start making my jalapenos, I think. Heard a feral back there. Let's see if we can fuck him up. Oh yeah, now we're gonna fuck him up. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, did you? Oh. Yeah, turned into a Viking? Yeah, that snowplow truck, that was a waste. Should have kept the snowplow truck. Um, any of the pickup truck, well, the Rames, like if you just would have used like the yellow truck that you had, that would go to the same truck. It turns into a Viking. But the, the pl snowplow truck was a rare truck. I mean, I say waste. I just mean, like, if you didn't like the plow truck, it doesn't matter. It wasn't a waste for you. It's your game. But I'm, I just mean, like, um... If you would have just used any of like the regular pickups, and there might not have been any on your map either. I guess I'm just trying to let you know that they have multiple vehicles turn into the same vehicle. I guess is my point. Come on in, zombie. I can't thank you enough. Lead on. 
Let's do some searching. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So they, any of the, the pickup trucks, regardless of what they look like on the outside, if they're based on like that Chevy Silverado, like four door, you know, half ton pickup truck, then they'll turn into a Viking uh, that has the two big gas tanks on the back. Which the Viking's a very cool truck. And now compared to the plow truck, um, it's it's going to be like more durable and, and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's definitely an upgrade. It's just that, like, for me personally, I, I like, uh, I like get like yellow. Like, I fucking hate yellow. So, like, I would take that yellow truck, and, which I would never drive, and I would turn that into the Viking. That way I could keep the plow truck, you know. Um, <clears throat> but, like, this map that I'm on is, like, a truck-heavy map, too. Um, and you, like, sometimes the colors, like, will change. Like, you might get, like, a green military truck, but then when you turn it into, when you upgrade it, when you upgrade this military truck, it turns into, like, like, a pretty crazy, like, upgraded version even of, like, the one that you just made. Um... Jesus, like the head kept going left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, thanks. Oh. I just shot those guys multiple times on accident and they didn't die. So put that in your brain bank. You seem like good folks, just like us. We could recruit them? Oh my god. Gracias. Oh. Dude, dude, look at that. I have 11 people now. <laughs> Holy shit. The yellow truck is your favorite? Ugh. Fucking yellow. It's international color for chicken. Being yeller. Yeller bellied. Um, but attracting the zombies. No, like, okay, so... This is, a, this is another thing. Like, what I love so much about these games is you can kind of put, like, your own role play on it. And I don't mean to, like, nerd out whatever when I'm using this term. But, like, you, you kind of are. Like, if you... I have a white truck. The same truck you have. The, you have the yellow one. I have a white one. And in real life, I have a white Chevy Silverado. So I like to keep that truck, like, just in the driveway just because it's kind of like real life. It's like it doesn't make any difference in the game. A yellow truck... Or a black truck doesn't make any different in the game any difference in the game, but like you like it. Like it makes sense to you to use it in the way that you're using it. And you can do that. Like that's I love about this well, I love that about a lot of video games, but like especially this one, the replay value is like so good. Like earlier today I was actually a touch bored with the game. Cause I kinda feel like I've gotten so much, like so many things. But I remembered that, number one, I'm going to play with you. But then also, I still have one, maybe two more maps to do. I, so I'm, I'm still going to finish and complete the other ones. It's almost daylight, so we're going to go look at Wrigley Field before I log out to go make my, uh, start making my food. Um, but, like, I am, like, happy for you that you think the yellow truck attracts zombies and it's your favorite truck and like you found something that you like because um oh good lord we better get inside here there we go because now what we need to do is we need to get upstairs and we need to shoot the shit out of that juggernaut oh, okay Oh my god, really? Dude, he's fucking my truck up. Oh my god, he's fucking up. He just keeps like moving my trucks. We need to go ahead and just put this stuff away before we get in trouble. What? I can't put. Oh, you can't put rucksacks in here. I forgot that. Let me just drop this rucksack right now. 
can. Let me see if I can. Domed him in the head a bunch of times. There you go. Get on the ground, dick. Got him. Got him. Hell yeah. So let's go ahead and deposit these. Deposit that. Deposit that. Deposit that. Oh, see, I just failed these guys' mission like a half an hour ago, and so now it's showing that. What do you want me to do now? Speak with Amy about her request. Where is she? Wrigley Field is where? Oh, it's way down there. She's on the way to Wrigley Field, so I'll do that. I'll do that. That's fine. Okay. I just used a lot of that ammo. <laughs> Let's use... Can we use, like, some 9mm ammo? Let's pull the 556 five, out, reload. Did you? Yeah, the blunt weapon. That's good, man. That's good practice, like learning how to do that too. Watch that it, sounds juggernaut. I was gonna say, like, that sounds like another juggernaut. So watch this gun that I'm getting ready to use here. The BFG, right? The BFG cannon. So we use that and we'll take. He doesn't sound like he's fighting anybody. If we could get up top and actually shoot this guy a bunch. As you know, Red Talon gives a lot of freedom to its local partners. Freedom is what we're about. Oh, he's up here. There he is. Okay, you ready? Crouch, zoom. One. Two. Three. Four. He's not dead. Oh my god. Time to reload. Five. I hope nobody else fucks with him. Six. He said four shots. This is the gun that he says is way better. Seven. Remember, I liked the other gun and he liked this one. That was seven. So the next shot should kill him if it's the same power. Are you watching this, bro? That was eight, and he's not dead. Oh, whoops. Nine. Not dead. Ten. So the gun that he said was better took more shots, and you you witnessed it. You saw me shoot him in the head every single time. That's very interesting. Now, let's put that away, because we're going to go down and we're going to do this other shit. And I want to use what? What about a 500? We need something that uses 9mm. The PPSH uses 9mm. Let's go run that for a little bit. Let's take some... Uh, We'll do we'll do double that and then no probably not I don't know um, let's open the trunk and deposit that see here's the Viking here's the truck that you have so this truck right here will turn into that the white truck I'm not very happy that he... Oh, there we go. Watch this. <laughs> Fucker. He, like, moved all my trucks. I think you can do more damage if you have a choke on it or something, but I, you can't choke a rifle, and I don't know that you can suppress those rifles. Let's go find out real quick. 
juggernaut body in my way. Can I get clean up on aisle three? <laughs> okay. Let's go with... Okay, that's the Timberwolf. And... Okay, B50FG, there you go. So B50FG, <clears throat> now let's, let's go ahead and equip this. You cannot put a suppressor or a choke or a muzzle brake on the nice sniper rifle that I like. And you cannot do a muzzle brake, a suppressor, or a choke to the nice one that he likes. So, nope, you cannot modify those guns. All right, let's take the let's take the blue truck. No, you can't de-level your truck. <clears throat> but that's all right, dude. I mean, the thing is, is like you could actually beat this game right now, like today, and then you could start another community. You know. So, I, what I would recommend for you is to keep in mind, I, I wish somebody would have told me this the first time, or maybe it wasn't even a thing when I played the game like a year or two ago. When you beat the game and you get the legacy boons, you can start the next game with those boons. So, the one that I started with is I have full base, power, and water. So, I didn't have to, I didn't have to get a generator, a power station, a water tower. I didn't have to do any of that stuff because I have it from my legacy boon. You can have two boons. So this one that I'm doing right now is Sheriff. I'm playing this game as a Sheriff. The first game I played with my leader as a builder. You won't have boons because you haven't played it yet. Or you haven't beat the game yet. You'll get boon you'll get one boon once you finish the game the first time. Every time that you finish the game, like when you finish a map, I don't mean change maps. I mean, when you complete the whole quest chain for your leader on a map, the game will finish, and it'll be done, and you just start a new community. But it's kind of like New Game Plus, because you can take some of your old characters and use them, and you can use the legacy boon that you got from whichever leader you had. So, for instance, yes, yeah, you're going to be it. So, do you have... Who is your leader? Is it a sheriff, or is it a warlord, or a builder... I don't really feel like fighting these guys right now. Awesome. Yeah, like what, which class or which type is your leader? Okay, so you and I are going to get the same boon when we finish these games. And the, the finish is every day you get a supply drop. That's sure nice of you. She wants a cleaver? Okay, I guess I'll do it. This is the first time I've ever had this mission. Well, you can still change it, I think. I don't know if you can demote your leader, but you can exile him, I think, and you could change it. The gameplay doesn't matter all that much, really. I mean, the missions are sure, they're a little bit different. They're, you know, like the construction guys focused a little bit more on construction ones, the, the builder. The sheriff is like, go settle this loot dispute. You know, it's like keeping the peace. The warlord is like, let's go fuck some people up. I mean, it's... At the end of the day, you're you're collecting resources, you're building things, you're... You're repairing your vehicles, collecting vehicles, you're moving home sites, you're killing zombies, you're killing other humans. The game's the fucking same. But it's just like... It's kind of like World of Warcraft. Like, at the end of the day, like, it's basically just run around and kill shit or click on it. You know, all the missions at the end of the day are the same. Or it's like the same five different missions. It just has a different quest giver, a different reward. It sends you to a different place to get a different item from a different faction. Like, it's the same, like, basic... Ooh, look at this motherfucker. He's gonna try and mess with me, huh? Oh! 
Dude, I got him perfect. That's awesome. Okay, they want us to search this campsite for a cleaver. So, if you notice there, when I dodged through him, I didn't even have to turn around to hit the instant kill button. So, if you just dodge through him and then spam the instant kill button, the game will let you instant kill, like, right when you dodge through him. Right after you dodge through him. Oh, we got our cleaver. I don't like to partially search anything. If I start searching someplace, I like to do a full search. That way I can turn the icon on the map from white to gray. Yeah, it's just spam that button, baby. So, what? Yeah, the yeah. so you want Builder. Okay, a lot of people say that Builder and Sheriff are the two most important ones. Because you can only use two boons. So if you, let, let's say that you c collected all four boons. That means that you would have to play as a Trader, a Builder, a Sheriff, and a Warlord, right? You'd have to beat the game four times. I don't really know that I want to beat the game four times. We'll see what happens, but I don't know. What I do know, though, is that the Sheriff was a really good boon, giving you the supply drops every day, like once a day. It just keeps giving, keeps giving, keeps giving. The Warlord gives you, like, a bunch of, like, badass guns and ammo, like, right at the start of the, of the map. And the Builder gives you the base-wide power, like, power and water. Like, for me... I know that I can t take my weapons from one game to the next because I can just use you. I can just use a friend of mine to help me. So that's why the Warlord one is pointless. I think the Trader or the Warlord, one of those two, they give you like an extra 4,000 influence right when you start too. So pretty much right when you load into the game, you can go right to the big badass home site if you want to. But why does that matter? It just means that you don't have to play the game to build up influence. I want to play the game to build up influence. Like, influence is not hard to get in this game. I have 7,000 fucking influence, and the max is 9999. And I've barely looted in this game, in this playthrough, you know? like. So I would recommend that you do Sheriff and Builder. Now, the thing is, though, is I'm on my second game, and you, I've only gotten to use one boon right? So on my third game, I will finally get to use the two boons. So my third game, I'm going to do Warlord because I'm not interested in Trader at all. So my next one, I'm going to do Warlord. And then what I might do is I'll beat the third, the game a third time. So I have the third boon. I might start a fourth game just to see the Warlord boon and like see the, see the guns that they give you. But I read that it was like, it gives you like three AR-15s and like a bunch of ammo and some explosives. Like, so fucking what, you know? Just loot a bunch. Like, when I come and play with you, I'll just drive a van around that has like eight slots and I'll just help you loot. And we just go loot fucking everything and just build up like a huge stockpile of loot. Because your supply locker doesn't have a size limit on it. So you could loot the entire map and put it all in your supply locker. But like you don't if you if you looted the whole map and then you sold everything, you would run out of influence. Like you you're in you'd hit the influence cap and now you're just wasting you're just selling stuff to sell it just to get it out of your inventory, which is pointless because your inventory is infinite, right? In the supply locker. I mean, programming wise, it's probably not infinite, but like it doesn't show you a cap. So to me, it's like it's just not worth it to do some of the like. Two of the boons just aren't worth it. The only ones that make any sense to me, like once I like read up and did research, were Sheriff and Builder. And I personally did Builder first because I thought the Builder was more important. Having the base wide power after because when I played when I played as the Builder, I had to go get a power station to give me power to my base. I had to go get a water tower to give me water to my base. Both of those used fuel, so then I had to go get a fucking fuel, like, I had to get a couple fuel outposts, which if you look now, I don't have any fuel outposts. So see, it, like, it got rid of, like, all these stupid bullshit requirements for me. I got to actually make the base what I wanted it to be. I got to, I got to pick the base that I wanted. So, like, my base doesn't have that many beds. Well, I have, like, enough other things going on that it doesn't really matter that I don't have enough beds. Like, 
Look at my morale. I'm still way up there. So it doesn't fucking matter that I don't have three beds. It doesn't bother me. I actually need to go back and, re and see those two people and see if they're, uh... Worth keeping around or not. Oh, come on. Can you zoom? You can't zoom. There we go. Vans have the biggest slots. Vans have eight slots. Hey, what's up? Some vans. There you go. Gave her a cleaver. So now she's going to be happy. Gave me 260 influence. You think she'll go use that cleaver now? Did she equip it even? No, she's got a katana. That's the bitch that had the katana earlier. And there's there's the Tactahawk, that green one. Look at this thing, dude. This thing is badass. You might like the Tactahawk. Look at this thing, dude. It's like... It's like badass, like... Sporty, like modular looking... Like axe. Tactahawk is fucking cool. But again, Ultralight is, is my fave. Press Y, click Independence Pack, click Free Meat Wagon. You you can already get it. Nope, you don't need to finish the game. I got the meat wagon like right away. Like when I was when you first saw me like in the meat wagon, that was my first playthrough, you know. So All right, we're going to go back to We're going to go back to the base. I I kind of like this blue. Like it's not I really don't I don't love this truck, but it's kind of cool the way that it's upgraded because it's such an old piece of shit truck. But to me, like, I kind of like the old piece of shit truck and I like the, I like my Chevy Silverado, like, just stock. I don't like upgrading... Oh, no. I don't really like upgrading the trucks or the vehicles that much. Like, even the military vehicle, I don't like upgrading the military vehicle because I like how it looks better unupgraded. Now, the Jeep. You probably need to get the Jeep. Because, remember, the, the Jeep looked really badass when it was upgraded. I just didn't like it because I don't like the antlers. Like, somebody mounted some antlers on the front. And that's just not my style at all. Like, mounting antlers on a truck. Like, it's right on the front hood. It just looks stupid to me. Tail whip that zombie. Cocksucker. Oh, oh man. Let's, let's get him. Let's fuck him up. Big old supercharger under the hood, dude. It's such a badass engine. I wish they would have put that... I wish that you could modify the cars a little bit in this. Like, you have an auto shop. Build it in. Like, maybe in State of Decay 3 you'll be able to. Because it would be so cool if you could put... How this engine is, like, sticking out. It'd be so cool if you could put that, like, on any of, like, the muscle vehicles, you know? Or, like, adding the spikes on the side... Like, maybe you could add the spikes on the side to any vehicle. Like, the the modifications would be, like, more modular. See, like, I love every time I drive up, I see my nice white truck right there. I'm like, fuck yeah. Military, military truck was probably my first favorite vehicle. I, I turned the SUV into that... I forget what it's called, but it's like a zombie basher or some shit like that. This one right in front. And that, that like, SUV, it only has seven slots. So the SUVs aren't quite as good as the cargo van, so you probably still should have, like, a cargo van. Um, and then if you modify it, you know, then you can... Um, geez, I didn't have anything in here, really. Uh, if you modify the cargo van, then, of course, now you have, um, you know, a nice stronger vehicle. I think when you modify them, it makes them like have like better fuel efficiency too. Now let's look at my new people. So we have Ashley. We're going to trade her out. Let's take Lauren. 
Oh, whoops, I forgot to give her a crossbow. Let's go back to her. Give her a crossbow. I love how she, like, went outside in, like, two seconds flat. Okay, let's come down here. Let's get our crossbows. And I don't... The Echo 2, X2 Sniper Crossbow is my favorite crossbow, so I don't like to give it to player like, the NPCs. If I can help it. Um, but, yeah, let's see. Well, we have Gonzalo is a new guy. And he has programming. So he actually is even better for computers... Because she is just electronics. Although, maybe she could have done programming too. So Gonzalo doesn't do shit for us, really. And Caprice is a new chick. She's also computers. So see, I would just exile these people because they aren't even giving me anything. Like, allows the use of assault drones? Actually, what the fuck does that mean? Um... I gotta find my radio. Where's my radio at? My radio's in that front corner. Oh, it's like way out front. Okay, I know where my command center is now. Okay, command center's way over here. There we go. So, command center. I could have just done it a different way. Whatever. That recon attack drone available. Oh, dude. Oh, see, I could I could move maps. This is how you move maps. You research new territories. It gives you an exit point, and then you go there, and you can exit to another map. That's interesting. I want to. I need to fuck with the. Um, what weapon was it again? Uh, the Soviet PPSH. I got it from that mysterious trader. Um, all of the World War Two weapons. It's the World War Two pack. This is the Soviet PPSH-41. It shoots 9mm rounds, so it's really good because it will... It will. Um, can you modify it, I wonder? Let's see if you can modify it real quick. It's really good because you can make... Okay, you can't attach anything to it, which is fine. But it's really good because with the, uh, the Soviet... Or with the PPSH, it uses 9mm, and you can make 9mm, so... Like, what I might try to do is, on my next playthrough, I might try to, like, just do, like, a crossbow playthrough. You know? Like, no melee weapon, crossbows only. Because I'm using all these badass weapons and everything, sure. I'm still gonna look for badass weapons and buy them and, like, make my collection, like, big as fuck. But, look for a GSGW for me, please. Well, don't, don't look. But, I mean, just, like, keep it out. Keep an eye out. You'll get rid of the SUV for the van. Well, remember, though, you, you don't really need to get rid of anything. You can just park it somewhere else. It doesn't have to be in a parking spot. When you shut off your game, all the cars that are on the map stay on the map, usually where they're at. They'll, they'll move a little bit sometimes, but, like, not really. So if you just don't really want to use a certain vehicle anymore, just park it somewhere else, like, on your base or close by that you could use it, like, let's just say that you look on the map, you do all your, you go around, you do all your survey points, you're by yourself, you go back to your base, and you, like, start looking around the map, and you're, like, looking for, like, the different vehicles, and you, like, you're mousing over all the vehicles, and you find a vehicle that you want. Well, if you drive down there with a nice vehicle, and then you pick up a nice vehicle, how do you drive both vehicles back, right? Drive a shitty vehicle that you can just go dump down there and bring the nice vehicle back. Or have me help you, and I'll go help you pick it up. Or you could run all the way. You can just run across the map. But running across the map, like, what are you going to run into? Are you going to run into things that you want to loot? What happens if, like, a nice quest comes up that you want to complete? Now you're just running around. You don't have a car that you can go quick, go do that, that quest. What if you run across a trader? A trader pops up, and now you don't have a vehicle that, that has trunk space, you know? So... You don't have a problem with gas. No, gas? Gas really, really isn't that big of a deal in this game. I mean, like, it seems it seems like it would be, but it's, it's really kind of pretty easy. But also, you have to remember, you're on green. So you're playing the game on the easiest way that it, on the easiest, like, mode that it is. And I'm on one up from that, like, the standard or, like, the normal. It's still very easy. So I do really like the game. 
but and I like I like I'm saying it's still very easy at this mode. I don't really want to play like I said the hard modes because I could be sitting right here and if I was playing with the hard shit every like ten minutes my base is getting raided. It's like fuck, you know. <clears throat> so you know you're gonna. Like, right now, like, I, I could have those two extra people that I just got. I could leave them and have them, just keep them in my base. Because having the negative three morale is not fucking with me at all. Because I have so many other good things helping me. Like, yeah, look, many infestations, anxious all the time, not enough beds, whatever. But, like, look at all this other shit. Like, all the completed leader projects and... Great medical, all this great, likes the watchtower, good medical facilities, like, all this shit. These people, all the blood plagues, defeated the blood plagues, like, everybody's so happy. So, and recent kill, look at that. Recent kill, all those people right there, like, they just recently attacked that juggernaut. And uh, recently, I just, I think we killed the feral too, so it's like, it's just awesome, dude. I, I fucking love this game. You can go in and mop, you can clean the toilets. The toilets will flush themselves, apparently. Flush toilets, plus 10 morale, if you have a plumber. But you can also get plus 10 morale if you just send one person in there. So, like, if I have 11 labor right now, which means I have 11 people here doing nothing, like, might as well just send them in there to work. So I have 55 right now. So let's go to latrine. Boom. So it takes 5 minutes to do it, but then it'll give me 10 morale for 45 minutes. Upgrade your pace for the outpost. You're waiting for you to level up to programming. Yeah, and then once once you upgrade your command center, don't forget I gave you a antenna mod. So my nice, yeah, lat latrine actually. I mean, is to me it's kind of like a nice like passive thing to have. Actually, like I know maybe other people would rather have a shooting range, but again, I don't want loud shit. Like in my RP mind. I don't care about the morale. I just don't want my base loud, which is why I'm, I'm cool with like hearing like the crossbows. Otherwise, it'd be like boom, 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 boom. Like it's always guns. Fuck that. Like in if this was my fucking base in real life, I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing using all our ammo? What the fuck are you doing making all this noise? I'd be freaking out. Yeah, exactly. You can make the mods in the base. So, oh, you are using it. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, like. In the workshop craft facility mod see like I can I could make all these but like you have to have the knowledge of construction though I don't have a guy that knows construction so I don't actually have a mini fridge um, so there's that <laughs> but like see like workshop 3 you should be able to make even more mods if you have um, if you have like I think there's like a construction dude that you can get that like he'll be able to know be able to make even more mods you know it's like, I don't think I have a solar generator, and I don't think I have a mini fridge, but whatever. <sighs> oh, did you? Nice. See, and like, I like the hydroponics. Like, that's my favorite, is the hydroponic. Oh, shit, we need to go, we need to go play as somebody else real quick and switch over so that we can frickin', um, wait, we don't want Caprice. We're gonna get, we're gonna get rid of Caprice. Let's get Tony. No. Lauren. Let's do Lauren, because he's my driver guy. We want to go get... Um, we want to go look at Wrigley Field real quick. So let's have him... We'll give him the Echo X2 Sniper. Put that away. And let's get... We'll get a bunch of bolts. That's a lot of... That's enough, That's plenty of bolts. He's got the rusty whatever screwdriver. Let's get, a, let's get him a K-Bar. Let's put that away. Now let's give him gas tank, toolkit, let's go. This will be kind of like a dry run of like how I want to play the, the next game is because I'm just using the... Um, okay, what is that? Let's take my nice truck. We'll take my nice truck. You don't know me, but there we go. I'd appreciate it if you'd come and hear me out. There you go, there's Whitley Field. Taking my nice truck, dude. She was cleaning the toilet. Yeah, she was. I she so that's what's cool is that I just said to flush the clean the toilets, and 
I switched to somebody that happened to be doing it. So, like, that's that's another, like, good feature, I think, of the game. Like, where they, like, kind of thought of a lot of stuff, you know? Yeah, dude, this is my nice truck, dude. My nice white truck. It's got that fresh truck. I'm going to try not to run zombies over with it. <laughs> and, like, try not to, like, run it into stuff. Keep my nice... This is, like, my nice luxury truck. It's probably got heated seats up in this bitch. Heated seats and, like, heated steering wheel. I'm probably cranking out some music on my Bluetooth. It's it's charging up my iPhone, too. I could probably got, I'm probably wearing my sunglasses. Okay, maybe not. Fuck you, zombies. But one thing I've noticed is, like... Like, my brother and I, we did go around and, like, loot up some shit, like, right when we first started that last game. But after that, I really haven't had to loot much. Like, and I've, I've wanted to, but, like, I just get distracted. And there's just so much to do in the game. And the game pulls you in so many directions that... I, I do get, like, a little bit of anxiety and I get a little stressed out because I'm, like, tr trying to do everything, like, as it comes up. But one thing to remember, dude, is if you don't get to a mission quick enough, it'll come back up. Like, if it goes away, it'll be, like, mission complete or, like, mission finalized or whatever the fuck it says. Like, I was getting upset, like, with my brother when we were playing. I wasn't mad at him. I just mean when I was with him. It was like we were fucking off doing too much other stuff. Okay, here's the field. So this is Whitney Field. This is what a lot of people consider to be the best map, or the best home site on this map. Big, big, huge, open-ass base. Oh, yeah, you got four parking spaces over here. Four parking spaces over here. And then, I think, did I have three over here, too, or no? Oh, no, okay. I just thought that would be it. So you don't, you're not really, this isn't really where you're going to be coming in to the base. You're going to be coming in over on the other side here. Oh, my God. No, no blood on the truck. Oh, what? Oh, it's not dodging. Come on, fucking dodge, you dummy. Fucking dodge, you piece of shit! Good lord. I think the game probably doesn't like the fact that I have it at, as mouse wheel down. There you go. It's like getting confused. I have to yell at it before he actually does it. <laughs> so. So, if we look at this base... It's all open, and I don't like that. I, I don't like that at all. Because that means, like, anything that you make is going to be... That's not the right map, but anything that you make is just going to have, like, tents over it. See, I don't, I don't like this. Some people say it's, like, really easy to defend, though, because you can easily see the zombies. Like, whereas the police station, since there's walls, you know, you're like... There could be zombies, like, on the other side of the wall, like, two feet in front of you, but you can't shoot them because you can't see them because they're on the other side of, like, that wall right there. <laughs> but, like, here, like, you could just easily shoot them. Like, you can... You can easily... Let's see if we can hit this guy. Oh, we got his shoulder! <laughs> there we go. Now we domed him. So they do lob a little bit, the bolts. Which crossbow do I have again? It should be the sniper. Yeah, Echo X2 sniper. Um, in the first game, I remember seeing a lot of... Of these, like, Cleo items. Oh, it looks like it, like, annoyed him, but it didn't actually kill him. Oh, okay. Can't hit his head, apparently. Let's hit his head. Oh, I see he like started moving pretty easy, pretty quick right there. Let's 
Let's get some long range zombie head. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it is a well fortified area, but I just don't like it that it's outside. So, anyways, dude, I should probably take off. I don't know. I gotta prep this stuff till like one, and then it's gonna take me like an hour to cook it, and then I gotta like stop and get beer on the way there. So, yeah, I'm gonna probably go ahead and take off. Go crank some music, get the record player going, and uh, huh, get the record player going, crank some music. Crank some music and uh, make my jalapenos. So, but yeah, dude, we'll play maybe later on today. If not tomorrow, I have a lot of uh, room tomorrow. Tonight, I have a couple of different people that I might like make plans with, and obviously, I got the barbecue thing is going to be for a couple hours at least. Just kind of depends on how well it goes, but um, <clears throat> we'll definitely do some playing. But yeah, do some considering on that. You know, like. I mean, you beat all the plague hearts. Like, maybe you you might even want to consider just like ripping through and beating the game real quick. You know, getting a getting a boon. You know, the sheriff the sheriff boon is going to help out even more. Like I said, because you're just constantly getting like a supply drop every day. Now, granted, this game right here, I'm only in like nine days, so I only would have got like nine supply drops. Like, it's not that. It's like it doesn't help nearly as much in my opinion as the base wide food and uh water and power does i really feel like that you know why can't you make just any open area like it what do you mean <clears throat> your entire peeps are max skill they have maxed everything? Like, none of my people have maxed everything. How do you... How are you, like, doing shit, like, immediately that, like, I haven't done yet? <laughs> it's, like, such a... It's, like, totally different experience. Well, you are running in circles, I guess. And you do have the training thing. So the fighting, you could just keep... If you have the gym, you could just keep training them, and that would get up... But like, how do you have your wits up all? Like, how do you have, how do you have every single person have their wits maxed out? Oh, yeah, I guess I wasn't even thinking about the fact that I haven't been looting that much with any of my... Like, on this playthrough, my wits haven't haven't leveled up as much because I'm not really looting that much. Now that I think about it. That makes sense, then. But... Alright, man, we'll catch you later. Have a good one. We'll definitely play... Uh... Maybe tonight, if not, probably tomorrow. So thanks for hanging out, Vaj. Appreciate you, man. Have fun killing zombies. And look for a, keep an eye out for a GSGW, please.